It's a new Olympic sport which tests speed as well as skill. Ski Cross sees four skiers setting off simultaneously with the first over the finishing line, the winner. But the course is also punctuated by sharp turns, moguls and jumps and touching another skier means instant disqualification. When you're at the start line, you say to yourself, right, here we go. I'm going to be on the razor wire for a minute and a half. Every little decision, every gesture will be important. I find it very energizing to feel so alive and such a master of your own destiny. To do well in ski cross, you need to be in peak physical condition. Enthusiasts say it represents the best of time trial and freestyle skiing combined. We have jumps that you don't have with downhill skiing, jumps which are very tricky and can unbalance you, so you have to adapt and find a compromise between great precision and suppleness to take the jumps. It's a bit like going from Formula One to rally driving. As with any race, you have to know how to manage your competitors. Skiing in numbers carries a greater risk of falling, but for fans it's the need to avoid your rivals which makes ski cross so exciting. You're up against other people, not just the clock. Skiing in a group is amazing. Already it's giving us new sensations. It's really awesome. And also, in terms of the spectacle, for people watching, it makes the sport a lot more impressive. And that's exactly why ski cross is now an Olympic sport. The International Olympic Committee hope it will help bring in younger fans and the skiers themselves are looking to the 2010 Games to finally bring their sport to the attention of the world.